Hello retro lovers and welcome back. We are watching the fifth uh, film in the Hammer Dracula series. This one is Taste the Blood of Dracula. That's probably uh, the most grim sounding uh, title that we've had so far. Taste the Blood of Dracula. So yeah, if you uh, haven't seen um, the original uh, Dracula first time watching video that I did from last Halloween, then go and check that one out. Uh, and I've also of course watched uh, The Brides of Dracula, which was the second one, and Prince of Darkness, which was the third, and I, the last one I watched was Dracula Has Risen from the Grave. Um, I have given my thoughts and opinions on those, so if you haven't seen those, go and check them out. I'll put, like, uh, clickable links and stuff uh, so you can go and check them out. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know anything about this one. No idea who directs it. The only thing I know about it is that it has a grim title, and Christopher Lee uh, is uh, returning as Dracula. Let's do it. This is... Taste the Blood of Dracula, the fifth in the Hammer Dracula series for Retroween. Ooh, go! In the woods, again. Oh my gosh, very convincing blue screen. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Children of the night, what music they make. Although it doesn't seem that scary, it's kind of a friendly looking wood. I take that back. That's quite clever, overlapping the end of the last one with the beginning of this one. That's quite good. I like that. Good link. That doesn't look like blood. <laughs> oh, it's his medallion thing. Dracula. Yes, well done. Dracula. Blood. No. Peter Sellis, that's um, for people who aren't in the UK, Peter Sellis, the voice of Wallace in Wallace and Gromit, was in a very famous long running sitcom over here in the UK called Last of the Summer Wine. Look that up. Very good. Did she say his name was Paul? Wasn't the last guy called Paul? So far, this seems to be more like a Dickens adaptation. Mother, I don't understand what he's You were doing. smiling and flirting with that young man. <gasps> but that was Paul, Father. Can't have that. Yeah, he's still a young man, and you are a young woman. <gasps> a sexually mature young woman. A young man and a young woman harmlessly flirting with one another. <gasps> oh my God! Blasphemy will only make it worse. Here we go again. My God! You got enough furniture in there! What are we doing? This way, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, I say. <laughs> Women. Such a pleasure to see you again, gentlemen. Bloody hell. Life is a cabaret, old chum. The next time I dress up for Halloween, I'm going to go as him. Go and what? Go, go and what? What's he going to do? Bloody hell! Is this Dracula or a porn film? I said the last film was sexier, but this is taking it a bit too far. Nice pussy. Oh, I didn't do that. His father disowned him several years ago. Cut him off without a shilling. Oh, ouch. It 
It's Paul. I'm coming up, don't you dare. No, no, don't rip him off. Don't rip him off. We've done this. A non good nurse. I don't really go for this kind of thing. <laughs> Fluty music and climbing down from balconies. I can't just leave them. Why? Not like that. Why not? Yeah. Good God, they've really gone to town with filling the sets, haven't they? I mean, look at all this stuff. Now, that's the guy from the beginning of the film. So, the medallion. You want to buy? Possibly. If we knew what it was, we're supposed to be buying. Don't you know? <laughs> Someone tell us! What are we buying? Let me guess, he's got like a little mugwai in a box. Yeah, see? Don't feed it after midnight, don't get it wet, don't expose it to sunlight. Right. It's the box, right? They're buying the box. Unloads all this stuff and then hands up the box. There. One thousand guineas. Ouch. What? Sucker. I wouldn't give him a red penny. Why are you nuts? Is it Roy Kinnear? Is that his name? I mean, I know who it is. He was the guy from um, uh, Wonka in the Chocolate Factory, right? Veruca Salt's dad. So I'm intrigued as to who this courtly fella is. How does he know about Dracula? How does he know how to bring him back? And why does he want to worship him? Three things on my mind. And I hope that we get to those. If that's a set, that's very impressive, you've got to admit. My God, I don't like this. Do you want to leave? Yes, yes. No. Very much so. There's someone there. This is like the shadow. There's someone there. On there. Which one of us? Oh, I see the box. <clears throat> Good. Good. Yeah. Dragging on a tad here, fellas. No, we've had that one. They haven't asked him what we're doing yet. They're just going along with it. Okay, to be fair, that looks pretty cool. Still doesn't look like blood, but it looks pretty cool. Hey, how come he gets the fancy one? Yeah. For God's sake, will someone please just drink? Uh, and tonight, the overacting award goes to... Help me! Help me! <laughs> what the hell did I just watch? I'll go back to bed. Both of you. I don't know why he's so worked up. I mean, technically, nothing actually that strange happened. He put what he put blood into the glasses, put his own blood in, then drank it and died. Oh, he's going to become Dracula, is he? Ooh, stop motion! God, those couldn't have been comfortable. I think it's fair to say that everyone's acting rather strangely in this film. Yes, father, to the Allen's party. I wasn't told about this. I would have told you only. Only what? I didn't want to. Who is taking you to this party? Paul. I forbid it. Fuck you! Coming to the party, Alice. I can't. Father won't let me. Are you coming to the party, Alice? Go on. Just give me a moment. Good girl. Looks like we've got away with it. As you say, 
It looks as though we've got away with it. Got away with what? They didn't kill him. Good night, good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow. I went to the party. Yeah, you tell him. I'm sorry, Father. You're going to be punished for Don't you dare. Don't you dare, you prick. Oh, this man is a bit insane. Run, Alice, run! He's not a nice man. Right now, I think he's actually better company. She's got a Tamagotchi around her neck, I've just noticed. Maybe he'll interrupt them and Dracula will kill him too. Kill him first, I meant. Oh no. The first. So his plan is to obviously kill the three guys, right? And that at the general resurrection in the last day They know. Lucy. She heard her from all the way over there. <laughs> oh yeah, she's a goner. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's pretty good. Except the bit about Alice bringing Lucy there. Why couldn't Dracula go to Lucy? He's gone. I think, however, we should make sure. If Courtley drank the blood and he became Dracula, then what was going to happen to the other three when they drank? It's Lucy. She's dead. Undead. She's a vampire. I don't understand. Oh bloody hell! He's he's not well informed. This guy is he? Well, what can we do? Driver wouldn't stay through her heart. Only then will she be free to die. Get out of here! Oh, oh. Okay. Whoa. She's obviously going to wake up. Is she going to kill him? Turn him? Oh, he's going to do it. <laughs> oh, mate, this ain't going to be good for you. <laughs> the second. <laughs> I am dying of blood loss. That one was a bit pointless. Why kill him? Oh, oh, oh Jeremy. Oh, thank God it's you. For a moment I thought it was... Oh, come on. He can't have turned that quickly. And this letter's got to go to young Paxton to Paul, you know. Not you. That only took, like, 30 seconds. That was ridiculous. Yeah, now what? What happens now? Master. Beta. There's a touch of, you know, Sarah Brightman, Christine Daae about her. And you must believe me. You must <laughs> yourself with knowledge, Paul. 
I still want to know who that Courtney guy was. And how he knew about all this. I'm assuming we don't find out. What is that? What are you doing? Ah. <laughs> How the hell are they doing that? It's like luminous paint or something. Tables have turned, Drax. You can't leave! Oh, what's going to happen this time? How is he dying? It's going to be something completely ridiculous, I'm sure. I have no idea what just happened. Seriously, I have no idea what just happened. What killed him? I have questions. Okay, well, um, it was a total mess, but let's have an atta. I don't know whether I like this one less, uh, or whether I like the Brides of Dracula less. Definitely another weak uh, film, weak story. Um, and it didn't even look that good, to be honest. It looked very higgledy-piggledy. It didn't quite look like it knew what it was supposed to be, if that makes sense. Um, uh, exterior shots, you know, it's always good. You know, there, there weren't many interior sets uh, used. Not that I remember. Um, except towards the beginning. The beginning was completely fucked up. Um, what the hell was that? <laughs> it was like... <laughs> um, I didn't, you know, I didn't know what we were doing with that dancing snake lady. Yeah. Um, I kind of did like the idea of Dracula having a different kind of mission. Um, setting out to kill these three men. However, <laughs> however, it didn't make the slightest bit of sense in my opinion. Again, as I've said in previous videos, unless I missed something, and if I did, let's be civil, just let me know in the comments and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll admit defeat, but you know, I don't think I caught, if, if, there, if it was explained, I don't think I caught it. As far as I was concerned, it was completely pointless. Why, first of all, who the hell was this courtly guy? How the hell did he know about Dracula, and how did the hell did, how the hell did he know what to do to resurrect him, and why? Um, I know there was this thing about selling your soul to the devil and all that bollocks, but you know that seemed a bit far fetched, and his his overacting was hilarious. That actor, um, but why did he bring these three guys in? I know that initially he needed them to pay for the articles, the artifacts. Uh, but why did he need them for the ritual? Because he ended up drinking the blood from his goblet, and then he died, and and Dracula beca he became Dracula. That's what happened, right? So what the hell were the other three guys going to do? They were going to drink from, go from from goblets themselves, and then what was going to happen? Were they going to turn into vampires or minions, or were they going to turn into three identical Draculas? What what was that about? I don't I didn't get that. Um but then when Dracula turns up, he sets out to kill these three guys who participated sort of. I did mention they didn't really participate in anything, really. They they didn't even participate in the killing of that guy. I liked the idea, the concept of Dracula having a different sort of objective in this one. That was a good idea. It just didn't make sense. Um they could have put a bit more effort into that. Um, also, that death scene, what the fuck was that? We've had burning from sunlight, we've had drowning in water. I thought that was silly enough, but, you know. Then we had the impaling on the cross. That wasn't so bad, you know. Points for effort. 
But this one, what happened? He just climbed up onto the thing and then suddenly he became dizzy or something. He like suddenly, oh, I get it. Do, do heights, you know, now kill vampires? Is that is that the new the new thing that kills them? Uh, they suddenly don't like heights. No, no, it seemed to be he just got dizzy from the height and he fell onto the table, not even falling on anything, just falling onto a table. Then he died, turned to ash or blood or whatever it was. And that was it. I mean, what the hell was that? Someone please explain what killed him in this film, because I seriously don't get what killed him in this one. Th that the, the, the actress, uh, I've forgotten the actress's name, but very beautiful. Uh, very beautiful eyes, beautiful face. Um, yeah, just very, very pretty. And I kind of liked the idea as well of her being an accomplice. But again, it kind of seemed pointless. Like that thing earlier where Alice brought Lucy to Dracula. But we saw that Dracula could go out and get people himself. That's what he did to Alice, right? So why didn't he get Lucy and why didn't he, uh, why, you know, why, why did he need Lu uh, Alice to do his dirty work and then Lucy to do his dirty work and then, oh, th the other guy, the guy, that was silly as well. That, he was turned in like, what, seconds, 10, 15 seconds? Um, but the son of the other chap, uh, he was turned to and then killed his father. So where I stand with this film is I liked the concept I liked the concept, the idea of Dracula having a different kind of objective and, you know, the idea of having um, the idea of having people under his thrall and doing his dirty work for him. It's good concept. It just didn't work well in execution. So, yeah, just average, I think, is the word I'd use for it. Average, not nothing thrilling. I didn't it wasn't entertaining like Prince of Darkness. Um, do we have any questions, comments, or suggestions? Leave them down below. Um, if you enjoy what you see on the channel, um, this one wasn't much to look at. I apologize, but, uh, I reacted the best I could. If you like what you see on the channel, then, uh, check out links to see more, uh, in the description below. And, uh, yeah, taste the blood of Dracula. There wasn't really much tasting except for the beginning, uh, but there you go. Uh, what's the next one? The next one is The Scars of Dracula, and this was, that was the same year. So we had two in the same year. Taste of Blood and Scars of Dracula were both 1970. Yeah, what else? Nothing else to say, really. Taste the Blood of Dracula. 50-50. Let's hope the next one is a bit better. Uh, happy Halloween. <laughs> See ya.